in front of me I have the Minim OSD board and there's a little background as to why I'm using this board. So a few weeks ago I was helping a buddy with a project. I had my QAV400 in NASA and he asked me to take uh, the NASA up. We calculated about 300 feet and as you know doing that line of sight or even FPV is very difficult to judge your altitude without some sort of on-screen display. So I had this guy sitting around for a while. Now this is actually the version 0 0.1. It's an outdated version and I bought it because it was on eBay for like 20 bucks. It came from China and I should have just stuck with it for the 3D robotics version. Let's go ahead and dive into how we set this guy up. You'll notice that there's two sets of pins over here. This is related to powering our camera and getting video from our camera through the board out to our transmitter. And then on this side you see these six pins. Uh, this is actually going to connect to our APM board via the telemetry port. In front of me I have looks like a tangled mess of spaghetti but you'll notice that I have the camera wired up. These two servo connectors. These came from bad servos that I clipped and I'm going to use those to connect to the video and transmitting end of the Minimo SD. And you'll notice that I have positive and negatives soldered to the bottom plate of the TBS Discovery and these are actually fed as part of the power distribution board from my 3S 11.1 volt LiPo. I'm going to post in the description a link to the Minimo OSD a wiring diagram just in case there are any questions but uh, hopefully this is pretty straightforward and you can always feel free to post a question in the comments below and I'll be glad to help you out. Now we're going to start with the input side of the OSD. The input side is the side that comes out of the camera into the Minimo OSD and goes to the video transmitter. There are three leads. We have our video our positive and our negative. And as you can see, our positive and negative are hooked up to the TBS discovery frame, so they're gonna be getting 12 volts. And then on the video signal side of things, that's connected to the yellow cable or the video output on our camera. So looking at that, we wanna go ground, 12 volts and video input from our camera. And if you'll notice, that's gonna be this top set of pins right there. So we're gonna have ground on the top, plus 12 volts in the middle, and then video in on the bottom. Okay, now our other lead. Same thing here, we have video, which is this orange cable and it connects to yellow on our transmitter. And then of course we have our red and black, which we're gonna feed with plus 12 volts and that corresponds with our red and our brown. We want to hook that up to ground 12 volts and video out. So ground is going to be on the top here. Plus 12 volts is going to be in the middle. And then our video out. And then on the receiving end we should have our OSD information displayed. That's the video side of the board. Consider this the 12 volt side of the board. Now we'll go over to the 5 volt side of the board, which will be fed by the telemetry port on our APM. On this end of the APM, I pl plugged in my telemetry cable to the telemetry port. And on the other end is a six pin plug that I'm going to feed into the plus 5 volt side of the Minimo OSD. All right, so we're all wired up, both ends. Now let's go ahead and power the TBS with our 3S LiPo. Okay, looks like our LEDs are going, so that's good. Looks like it's transmitting. And our TS351 transmitter is powered. Okay, we got our receiver powered up and fed into our LCD display. So let's see what this looks like. So it's powering up. Looks like we got some Chinese on there. So I'd have to declare hardware success, but looks like we have 
uh, Chinese character set, which doesn't come as a surprise since this came from China. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to fire up the Minim OSD config software and let's see if we can get the character set issue resolved. One thing to keep in mind when you buy the Minim OSD board, you'll need this uh, FTDI cable. It's a USB cable with this six pin connector. It's a programming cable. Green at the top and black at the bottom. And now we'll go ahead and connect that to our computer. Okay, now we have our Minim OSD board connected via the FTDI cable. And you'll notice on the Minim OSD site, there's a download section. I've gone ahead and downloaded the configuration software as well as the 2.0 firmware. So I'm going to go ahead and run the OSD config. So I'm going to go ahead and click read from OSD. And it looks like the data is downloaded. There are different panels here and you can, I believe, toggle what you want to display on your OSD via a mode switch on your transmitter, but we'll leave that for a future video. So in the meantime, here's some things that I've gone ahead and previously selected as things I'd like to see. So we'll go ahead and do a firmware update, the firmware that I downloaded earlier. Okay, our firmware update is done. The main problem we had, obviously, was the character set. So let's go ahead and update the character set. This is a file that it comes as part of the download. So I'm going to go ahead and run this. Okay, it appears that that has been uploaded. I'm going to go ahead and save that just to make sure. Okay, done writing panel one. We're going to disconnect from the computer and go hook up our connections again and see how everything looks. Okay, so updating the character set with just the cable didn't appear to work and I found the supplier's web page for this board and they suggested actually powering both ends, 12 volts on this end and then the 5 volt from USB on this end and they recommended updating the character set that way. So let's see if that does the trick. If not, I'm out of ideas and no more Chinese parts for me. And it looks like that did the trick. So you can see our OSD. Now I'm indoors, so there's not a whole lot of information. Normally you'd see number of satellites. Uh, you can see we're in stabilized mode, time running. You can see the video there. I'm pretty fired up about this. But uh, tip number one, don't buy parts from China. And tip number two, if you do, I'm gonna show you this with the FPV cam. To change the character set, you need to power both sides of the board. And if you just want to update your OSD display where you position things and items that you want to see, you only need to have the FTDI cable hooked up. And so hopefully I won't be flying blind anymore. Hope this video was useful and I'll do some follow-up related to configuration and changing your display via your mode switches. But until then, please post any questions or comments below and thanks for watching.